let's have a look at alkene and alkyne metathesis. So in general, a metathesis reaction is going to exchange two partners like we see in this reaction. You might remember metathesis reactions from pre uh, precipitation reactions from general chemistry. And so you might have two aqueous salts that swap partners. One of them would form a solid and one would remain spectator ions in, in the product mixture. We might have called those double displacement reactions, uh, but metathesis reaction is a general term. Well, with Grubbs metathesis, we're going to do the same type of thing, except we're going to have uh, reaction partners that are alkynes. And so if we're talking about A, B, C, and D, we're going to have different parts of our reaction um, that are going to be exchanged with one another. And so we might have um, two identical alkenes like we have here. And this is the best scenario because when we're partnering these up, we are going to be able to exchange partners in such a way that we form a gas from one of them. Okay, so if we have a ter two terminal alkenes, we would end up forming from those two metathesis partners a gas, ethylene, which would bubble out of our solution, driving the reaction to a mixture of E and Z. Here we drew the Z form, but E and Z alkene uh, products. And so this is very much an equilibrium system. Okay, so we're going to form an equilibrium that's going back and forth, back and forth. And so anything we can get to drive the reaction to the product that we want it, um, it's going to be good for Grubbs metathesis. So we're going to use a Grubbs catalyst. We can either write Grubbs or Grubbs catalyst there over the line reaction, not too worried about the form. I go to the chemical supplier, I can buy one of several generations of Grubbs catalyst that can do the job depending on what my substituents are. We'll just stick with the general Grubbs catalyst here. Okay. Now, if we want, we can do cross metathesis. And so we could have two different terminal alkenes, but there is a little bit of an issue with this. So if I have two different alkene partners, what I'm going to end up with um, is an exchange that's going to um, form a couple of byproducts. And so what I could end up with with Grubbs catalyst is yes, I could end up with the cross metathesis product that I want. Again, a mixture of E and Z for this by coupling together and eliminating our gas. But the problem is we can also react each of them with themselves. And so we're going to end up with um, a byproduct E and Z variety because there's a there's a way to mix these two together and get um, the product that we see here, this byproduct or the other alkene, we could end up with um, a catalyst form that in or excuse me, a final product alkene that mixes these two together. So if we're going for the cross metathesis product, we would end up having a, a significant amount of our equilibrium form with the two uh, byproducts that we see. It's still going to be an efficient reaction because we are driving off again um, ethylene gas in order to do this reaction. And so this is manageable, but it's not the best in the world. And if, if we're very poor at our planning, we might try some internal uh, alkynes, which are not only going to be very slow to react with our, um, suppose we had an R3 and an R4 even here, um, be very slow to react, very difficult to bind with the catalyst, and we're going to end up with too many products. And so I don't want to see um, these unsymmetrical internal alkynes recommended as part of a synthesis for Grubbs uh, metathesis. Okay, so yeah, they might go, they probably won't. In my experience, the terminal alkenes are best for this, but we could end up with a mixture of products. Either way, we're not gonna get much of what we're looking for um, with this particular, um, with this particular set of reactants. 
Uh, one thing that is nice that we can do with a, a Grubbs catalyst is we could take um, a system in which we have multiple alkenes here um, that we could then do a ring closing metathesis in which we still bubble off our alkene ethylene here as a gas to help drive this but we would then make a ring with what's left over one two three four five and six and so we would end up closing this ring in a form of ring closing metathesis that works very much the same way that a normal Grubbs catalysis would. So it's a very it's a very neat reaction and, and very useful in some synthesis um, applications. And very similar to alkene metathesis, metathesis is Schrock metathesis. So we could take um, two terminal alkynes under the same conditions, best if those terminal alkynes um, are identical in nature. That way, when we put the Schrock catalyst in, we end up with ethine or ethylene gas, or excuse me, uh, acetylene gas bubbling off to help drive our reaction. And then we get our product, which is the alkyne metathesis product. We end up exchanging the two hydrogen and carbon sp carbons in the middle here they these pair up and then our reactants pair up on the end to give us our final product here okay same deal terminal alkynes are are, are best identical terminal alkynes are best